Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of rocker arm in Autodesk in Android software. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now select the 2D sketch and here we will select XY plane. Now from this plane go to circle command. First make a circle of dia. 9.53 from same center point make another circle of dia 9.765 into 2 ok 19.53 now go to line command from this center construct a line of dimension 22.23 and a vertical line here of 5 mm Skip. Now, similarly, go to line command once again. From this point, make a line of dimension. Okay, we will take dimension from center. So, go to dimension. From center point, this point will be at 28.58. Okay, go to horizontal constraint. Select this point and select this center point. Okay escape now go to line command from here give a vertical line of 5 mm and here give a taper line escape and go to tangent constraint select this line and select this circle ok similarly we will do here go to line command here make a line escape and here but we will give an angle so go to dimension the angle between these two lines will be 25 degree okay. now we, we will erase the unwanted profiles or trim the unwanted profiles so go to trim command select this profile select this profile and select this extra and this also so here you can see the sketch has become unconstrained to make it back to constraint, select here and here. Give okay, this dimension here. Only give this and here also give this dimension. Okay. Now this is fully constrained sketch. You can see here. Now finish sketch and go to extrude command. Select this internal profile. Go to symmetric extrude and here give dimension 19 mm and ok ok now we will give the side chamfers so we will give these chamfer profiles so rotate this view ok now select this edge and we will select here chamfer this will be an unsymmetric chamfer so here we will select two distance chamfer the distance one here will be 7.62 and distance second distance will be 2.54 and select this edge ok and apply in this chamfer you can't select multiple edges so you have to give one by one select this edge apply ok now rotate the view select this back side edge if you select both the edges it will select the last selected edge apply and select this edge apply ok answer now we will give this cut profile from top view we will give this slot profile rotate it Okay. Now go to origin. From here select exit plane. Go to create sketch. And change the view. Go to view. Change the visual style to wireframe. Okay. Go to sketch. From here select center to center slot. Make a slot profile here. Okay. 
go to dimensions the width of this slot will be 10.16 okay and the center to center distance also 10.16 okay put it now from this edge where the i'll show you the edge where this chamfer is getting over this edge we will select from this edge to the center point the distance here will be of 3.81 or wait um, don't select this delete go to dimension this edge and this center point this will be 3.81 okay now to make it a constraint sketch go to horizontal constraint select the center point and select here now this is fully defined i'll show you where we have made the view or sketch shaded with edges home if you make a top plane plane then you would not be able to see this sketching on the solid part so for that we work in wireframe now go to 3D model, go to extrude, you can see the extrude, we want a both side extrude so go to symmetric and here you can give all and here you can give cut, we want a cut profile here ok and ok, so this will be the cut profile. Now this profile is completed now we will make the next this cut profile select this face or you can just select again exit plane go to create sketch here again change the view visual style and go to our go to sketch here select two point rectangle and make a two point rectangle here similarly a two point rectangle here go to dimension the dimension here will be 9.53 and this dimension also 9.53 to make them this also a equal profile select here and here this will be equal to this and select here and here now all the profiles are equal to 9.53 you can check go to dimension here you can see 9.53 scale now if you move it all are moving with each other so go to vertical constraint so horizontal constraint select this point and select this point this is defined select now ok this is not defined due to this moment so go to coincident select this line and select the center point now this is fully defined now go to finish sketch go to extrude select this profile and this profile go to symmetric and here take cut and take a cut of all and ok change the view First, we will complete all the whole profiles and we will show you the complete profile. Now, select the XY plane, go to create sketch. Now, go to circle command, make a circle here of dia 3.18. Similarly, here also dia 3.18. Now, go to dimension. From top, this will be at a distance of 2.54 and from this side, distance will be 2.54. Similarly, we will do this side also. From top, 2.54 and from side edge, 2.54.
okay now finish sketch that's it and go to extrude command select this profile and select this profile go to symmetric go to cut drag this outward go to view change the view to shaded with edges and ok now this is the final profile now you can give any color to it you can give it a galvanized or any you can give nerd ok if this is also good so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a 3d model of rocker arm in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you